I was going to sit on this until things settled down a bit and, and the facts became a bit more apparent. Uh, but David Goyle, 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 of awful good games, uh, is being attacked by the by the online mob. He is the latest witch hunt target. Now, I, I take a stand in defense of people who the mob turns on uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first of which, I guess, is that I've been a victim of this mob and been accused of all sorts of things and of holding beliefs that I don't hold, <laughs> doing things I haven't done, yeah, th things like that. So, obviously, I'm a guinnit. Um, also, because, you know, innocent until proven guilty isn't just a legal standard, it's, it's a logical standard. We, we have that in legality for a reason. We have the idea of unproven until proven true in, in science for a reason. You know, that the burden of proof exists for a reason. But the, the social media mob, the social justice mob, doesn't seem to care about these principles. And it's kind of ironic because it's unfair and unjust, social or otherwise. Um, you would think people have, would have learned after what happened with Kevin Rolfe, but you know, despite me doing my level best to get his side of the argument out there, I still keep seeing people saying he was running a game for minors in which minor characters were gang raped, none of which is true, right? This is, this is the trouble. Lies spread incredibly rapidly and so many people are in echo chambers and bubbles that they never get to hear the other side. I hope to have David of Awful Good Games on the channel maybe uh, maybe tomorrow maybe maybe Saturday um, to give his side in person uh, but at the moment I'm just gonna kinda go over this whole thing so what he's accused of having done is running a blog that gave nasty mean-spirited uh, sometimes bigoted or prejudiced sounding reviews. Uh, it's called Your RPG Sucks, I believe. Um, that's been taken down. Um, so it's kind of hard to follow up <laughs> on, a, on a lot of the things that are being said. Now, he was linked to this blog because a screenshot that he had apparently taken was used by the blog that appears to be it right and him having like me supported Gamergate as any right thinking creative person or or games consumer should have done that's yeah that scene is damning so basically they were just waiting for some kind of excuse however flimsy it seems to, to go after him and that's literally it a screenshot a screenshot that he could have shared with somebody else who then shared it with somebody else who then used it on the blog I just don't know. It seems likely that whoever did run the blog knows him, but that's about as much as anyone can really say. Yet, on the basis of this, he's been threatened with being removed from sales fronts. Various people are calling for boycotts, blocks, bans, yeah, the usual stuff. And, you know, accusations of being a Nazi and all the rest of it. You know, for people who can, who can grasp the difficult idea that gender is a spectrum, people seem to have a real problem with assigning politics into a binary, Nazi and anti-Nazi. You know, there's there's a whole breadth of political opinion between, you know, fascist and anti-fascist, far far left and far right. It's not a binary. Um, I I don't know. Uh, he, came, he came to me for advice when all this kicked off because, you know, I've had some experience with these kinds of fusses and I was giving him advice when, apparently, the site was pulled down. So I don't think he's the one to have done it. I've asked him point blank uh, to be truthful with me and if it turns out that he's, that he's lying, I should not be best pleased. But, you know, innocent until proven guilty and a, a screenshot with his company icon on it doesn't prove shit other than he took the screenshot, if even that. <laughs> but let's not get conspiratorial. Odds are he did. Okay? And? It just means someone in his confidence must have passed it on or, or used it. That That's really all we can say. That is not a sound basis upon which to unperson someone. Right? 
compromise, forgiveness, you know, take it, taking the best rather than the worst case scenario, innocent until proven guilty. These aren't radical concepts and they make the world a better place. Zhang. Now, Bob, consider this next question very carefully. What is your one purpose in life? To explode, of course.